Good morning. Today is February 26th. And God said Psalms 43. So we are doing Psalms 43 because that's what God said. And I was going to read out of my devotional because it's a very, it's, it was a very good devotional. And God, I heard Psalm 43 and I'm like, well, I have no clue what that's about. But we are going to read it and we are going to find out what it's about, right? Because the Holy Spirit is here and that's how we do things. Okay, so Psalm 43 out of the New Living Translation Bible. Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. For you are God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Send me your... Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let me lead. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. There, there I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my heart, O oh God, my God. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior, my God. Okay, let's break it down, right? Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. Okay. A lot. One thing is, is that a lot of stuff comes up against us, right? There's a lot of things that come up against us. And it says, declare me innocent, O oh God. So we want to be innocent in God's eyes. We want to, um, you know, have that peace with God, right? We want, we want to be innocent. And there's so many people that come up against us and they want to lie about our character or lie about who we are and stuff like that. And, but God knows our heart. God knows who we are. I look at the world, right, and we care what people think. I don't care what people think. Like, I, I don't, you know, um, I do have to have a certain persona because I'm a Sunday school teacher and everything like that, but that's just how I am now. You know, I change my ways and everything like that. And people are supposed to love you for who you are. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. They're supposed to just love you, right? They're supposed to love you. You are my God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Okay. So, a lot of us fall away from God. God doesn't toss us aside. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of times, we say, oh God, why did you do that? Well, if it's something like super bad and everything, it's like you always blame God, right? Why did you do that? Why did this person die? Well, maybe it's their time to go. Like, you know, it's like when I go, please throw a party for me because I'm going home, okay? Because I this is not my home. Mm -mm, this is not my home. I get to go home. And please throw a party and celebrate because I get to go home. But so many people don't, well, we go and have no hell, that's it, those are the options, that's all you get, so where are you going to spend eternity, and a lot of times, you know, why have you tossed me aside, it says, God hasn't tossed us aside, we toss ourselves aside, that's what, that's what that means, we toss ourselves aside, because we're like, oh, well, this looks prettier over here, because it got glitter, right? Yeah, it's not prettier over there. Trust me, I've been there. Um, why am I? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? A lot of time, we let people do stuff to us, okay? And we let people, um, you know, control our emotions, okay? Because so somebody. The thing is, is about anger or um, hate or rage or all that stuff. You only allow people to do 
how do I say this? You allow people to do that to you. You allow it. They don't do it to you. You allow it to be done to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if you allow somebody to hurt you, then they hurt you. But if you don't allow it, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that point across because it's like anger. Anger will take anger, for example. If you allow a person to make you mad or angry, you know, that's on you because you don't have to feed into it. You don't have to sit there and be like, oh, this person did this. No, you don't have to. You don't have to accept that. You just don't. You're like, nope, I don't accept that. I don't accept that um, that rage coming out of you. I don't accept it. I, you know what I mean? And just pray for them. Pray, pray, pray. That is pray. It's very important to pray. Um, send out your light and your truth and let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. Light and truth. Always tell the truth. Do not tell a lie. Even if it's a little bitty little lie, don't tell it. Do not. Please do not. Because it causes that. Remember yesterday I was talking about that little crack? Well, there's a little crack in you, right? And now here's the devil. And he's going to spread that crack open. So, no lies. Um, let them lead me. Okay, yep, I did that. Did I do that? Yep, I did. Okay. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my harp, O oh God, my God. Praise him, praise him. Right? We got to praise God. We always have to praise God. We got to praise Jesus. We got to praise God. We got to because that's like, I said this to my friend last night. God doesn't want just part of us. He wants all of us. He wants your whole entire being. He wants you to give every single minute of your day to him. That's, that's what you have to do. Oh, well, how do I do that, right? Okay, if you're sitting there, you're watching TV, you're sitting on the couch eating some chips, say, Jesus, there, there's a minute, right? Or your thoughts are ungodly thoughts, or you're watching Christian movies, or you're you're praying, or you're talking to other people about God. You know what I mean? Like I'm dr I drive a lot, right? I'm a medical transport driver. So the thing is, is that I sit there in my car and I listen to Christian music, and I talk to God. I sit and talk to God, and sometimes my mind will wander, and then I'm just like. Wait, why am I thinking that? And I'm like, oh, I forgot to ask. I forgot to bring Jesus in. You know, you got to bring Jesus in. You always got to bring Jesus in. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior, my God. Okay. I just said that. Why are you sad? Why are you discouraged? Why are you got your thoughts everywhere else? Again, I will put my hope in God. Because God takes away the sadness. He takes away the discouragement. You know, he just, he loves you. God loves you. He does. God loves you because he has me talking to you about him in my PJs, right? Because God loves you. That's the whole reason that I'm here doing this is because God loves you. And he wants you to hear this message. He wants you to hear a message. And that's why I'm reading the Bible and not my devotional right now. Because this message is for you. This Psalms 43, I have no idea, like, you know what I mean? It was a small one, but I had no idea when I heard 43 in my brain. I was like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. Because like, that's what God said. So that's what we did. And I'm just, God loves you. And today, you know, the message that I took from this is start getting closer to him. You need to get closer to him. Um, sometimes we let the world get in our way and we, you know, end up doing this or that and we don't sit there and read our Bible. We don't. And Psalms 43 is literally this big. Right there. See it? It is not. I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed day.